Hey guys, welcome back for a tutorial on this look right here. And yes, my hair is blowing because there was just no way I was going to get through this video without having a fan on. And I got a bunch of hair in my head at the moment. So yeah, it is on this look right here. And I guess we should just dance it out a little bit before we start. So here we go. Using the Reveal 2 palette from Coastal Scents, we are taking that first shade as our highlight shade. And we are using three dark colors out of this palette. And here is the first shade right here. It's a mauve pink color. And we are placing these colors on the outer and inner corner. And then connecting them in a crease. Pretty much leaving the middle of our eyelid blank because we are placing a shimmery color there. But yeah, first place those colors down and then blend them out. Whenever I use this silver brush right here, I'm blending out. So just so you know. And then taking the second dark shade, placing it in the exact same spots. The awkward silence. <laughs> now taking the third shade, this shade's a lot brighter than the other two, which is why I placed it last because I want that color to really pop. So placing it in the exact same spots as all the other colors and then blending it out. Taking this foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, this is what we are placing in the center of our eyelids. And I'm just using my finger because I just feel like it packs on the color a lot better using my finger. And then just blending it out really softly so it looks like it's fading. And that is pretty much it on the eyes right here. So now I did some wing liner. There's just no way I can do wing liner on camera, but there you go. <laughs> so as of now... The eyes are done, so we're going to get into the face makeup, priming the face with a, this is a Too Faced primer. It's like a sample size. I'm not sure the name on it, but I'll list everything down below. Placing that first, and then taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, NW25. I like to use this to help conceal some of the acne scarring I have going on. So I do that before applying my foundation and the foundation I'm using is a Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear and it's in 3.1. I got a new shade so this one fits me a lot better because I'm getting tan and just blending it out with my beauty blender. Not even kidding, my legs are sweating from having this laptop sitting on top of them. All nasty, but moving on to concealing. I'm using this NYX HT concealer and SCW04. It should be. <laughs> I'm just placing that under the eyes and a little bit on the forehead and down the nose and everything. And I look, it looks kind of harsh, but I think it's because of the lighting. But yeah, just blending everything out. And then we are going to set it with the yellow powder from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And after this, we are moving on to bronzing our face using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, I think. And Dark Deepest is the same thing I've been doing in quite a few of my videos. And then just blending that out with a stippling brush, making sure it fades into that highlight concealer Thing that I just did <laughs> and then we are contouring using the two lighter shades from the Kat Von D palette again mixing them together and then blending out with stippling brush again For blush, I'm using a NARS blush. I think it should be Dolce Vita. I'm pretty sure it is. 
and then just blending that out with stippling brush again and then for a highlighter I'm using the Becca opal highlighter placing that on the cheekbones on my nose and my cupid's bow For the sake of this video, I already applied my lashes and did my brows. Now going on to the bottom lash line, we are taking the darkest two shades we used up on our lids and just placing this on our bottom lash line and just making sure that it blends out nicely. So I'm just layering, layering them um, on top of each other and then using a black eyeliner putting this directly only on the waterline and after this just apply mascara to your bottom lashes and the eyes are complete now moving on to lipstick I'm using this lipstick from the Kat Von D studded kiss collection and I think this is in cathedral wow I'm having trouble speaking but this has been my favorite lipstick lately and that is it on this look right here so hopefully you guys enjoyed it easy and simple I like this look so yeah I don't know what else to say just subscribe to my channel add me on twitter and instagram and I'll see you guys in the next video bye